I'm a quote guy. It's true. At the end of almost every email I send, I try to include an inspirational or sometimes wacky quote that has had some impact on me. I even have two very large documents saved on my computer containing all of my favorite quotes, and I'm regularly adding to those documents. Okay, so I guess you get the picture. I'm a quote guy. So what? Well, if you're interested, and you must be at least mildly interested if you're still listening, I want to share with you what might be my all-time favorite quote and a few thoughts about it. It's from one of my favorite authors, C.S. Lewis, who wrote such amazing books as The Chronicles of Narnia, The Screwtape Letters, and Mere Christianity. He once said, When first things are put first, second things are not suppressed, but increased. I'll say it again. When first things are put first, second things are not suppressed, but increased. I know it might not be what you expected, and you might even find it kind of lame, especially after the way I built it up, but I just had to share it because that quote has changed my life. It's challenged me quite deeply and profoundly to try to keep my priorities in order, especially the priority of my relationship with God. Here's how the theological principle of C.S. Lewis works. If we put God first in our lives, everything else will not be lessened, but will actually get better. Here's why. We believe that God is love, right? I mean, it does say in the Bible, God is love. That's in 1 John 4, 8, by the way, in case you don't believe me or you just want to look it up for fun. God is love. That's what it says. Can't be much clearer than that, right? Do you get it? What Lewis is saying is that when God is first in my life, all of my other relationships and everything else, for that matter, will be better. Because if I'm regularly plugged into the source of love, I'll be a more loving person. Jesus even agrees with C.S. Lewis. Actually, it's probably the other way around. As Jesus says in Matthew 6.33, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given you besides. Not understanding the principle of first things first has been devastating for many people's lives, causing a lot of confusion and disordered living, because far too many of us do not put God first. What we tend to put first is either ourselves, being cool, a hobby, a job, a task, a sport, or a relationship. And it is in relationships where the most damage takes place, since so many people make members of the opposite sex, whether in dating or in marriage, their top priority. But if we look to another human being, no matter how great or loving or good-looking they might be, to be our God, they will always fall short, and we will always be disappointed. How can any human being be God? None of us can always be there, love perfectly, and always meet another person's deepest needs. It's true. To put another human being first in our lives is to be set up for disappointment. I am so grateful, on a personal level, that my wife is not number one in my life. And she's glad that I'm not number one in her life either. Because if we did that, our relationship would fall apart. I really try to live, though very imperfectly, with the following top three priorities in my life. God is first, my wife Lisa is second, my kids are third, and other priorities follow. Contrary to what some people might believe, this is not a ripoff for Lisa or my kids either. When God is first, the second and third things are not lessened. When God is first, I am in fact going to be a better and more loving husband and father because I'm plugged into the source of love, filled with the love of God, and therefore naturally and supernaturally, I have more love to give. Now that is awesome. When first things are put first, second things are not suppressed, but increased.